What's up, my from Roach Fab. Today I'm going to be painting the engine bay on the mongrel. I've got the new mongrel merchandise up for sale. You can buy that on my website, urchfab.com, or should be scrolling underneath the video um, through Teespring. Right, all well, my paint's turned up, so let's have a look at what we got. This is all from Gareth at Transfers. So thanks, Gareth, for uh, the hookup of the paint. Right. So we've got a whole load of different sandpaper, scotch pads. Fast thinner. Tack gloves. Big tub of filler, some aerosol grey primer, some aerosol etch primer, some fiberglass for finishing off a little bit, some fiberglass, some fast anti scratch activator, and then we've got some more. Uh, stone chip i want to do the uh just do the floor the inside of the floor pans just with this before i paint it panel work and then these This is the 2K paint in a can. So you push that thing in and it um, remove red cap, attach to the pin on the base of the aerosol, press the red button with the ball of your hand until the stop is reached. Shake vigorously, vigorously for two minutes. Spraying distance 25 centimeters, apply two to three coats. So we should get a, a really good uh, solid paint from that. So you just need to strip everything off, give it a quick going over with uh, some Scotch Bright. Clean it all. I'm going to do this, uh, paint this front frame as well. The only problem I'm going to have is how cold it is in here. It's, it's freezing, so the only heater I've got is that diesel heater, which I've been told isn't going to be very good for doing this, but it's all we got, so that's what we're going to have to use. Um, but it's only this little area, so it should be fine.
Uh, yeah. There's a couple of little bits which annoyingly I've missed. Not missed with the paint, but when I was sanding, there's some little bits of like seam sealer and stuff that sort of half peeled off, which I didn't see. Just on the back of these bits, down in there. So I am. I'm going to stick it, I'm just going to re-seam seal those bits and I've got one can left. I used three cans on that, um, just did a coat per can, the cans don't go that far. And now I've put two, two cans on this, and there's a couple of little bits I've missed on this. So this needs a little bit, so by the time I've cleaned that up and chucked a bit more in there and touched those bits up, that'll be all six cans. Uh, to do that, so to do that whole cage and the whole inside, I'd need about 30 cans, I think. That's come out pretty nice. It dries, it dries um, really quick, and it goes on there quite, quite thick. So it looks like, you know, that to me that looks a lot more like it's come out of a gun than it does uh, out of an aerosol can. Paint, we got some paint on, finally. It's nice to see, nice to see some parts with some paint on it. Um, need to get cracking and get some primer on, on it because there's actually rust all over the car. Um, so I need to go over and sand the hole outside of the car and just get some kind of primer on there quick uh, before that gets in there too far. And um, and then make us make a start with the inside. Initially, my plan was to do the whole inside with these aerosol cans, but I've used. I think the plan is going to be to just do, use the cans, the areas that are going to be really hard to get into, up and under the dash and places like that, and then go in there with a gun and just uh, do the rest of it with a gun. Um, and then once I've got the inside and all this done, I can then continue to just build, build the car up, get all the running gear and engine and everything back in it, and still be working on finishing all the like prep on the outside, and then, and then um, look at getting that done. But I'm gonna put some uh, some time in over Christmas and try and get this thing moving. Thanks again, Gareth from Transpairs. Um, if you need any paint supply stuff, head over there, I'll put a link in the description. You can mix these cans up to any, um, any colour or whatever you want. 
And uh, I would say you're never going to want to paint a whole car with them, but any sort of like little bits, engine bays or even like a bike frame or something like that, to have like proper, proper hard paint comes out of the cans nice and it dries really quick. So you put a coat on and then a couple of minutes so you put the next one on and it builds up a lot quicker um, than normal aerosol. So um, link in the description if, if you need any of that. And um, yeah, that's it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.